Hey friends, it's Lydia with Applique Market. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to watermark your photos. Um, there are several programs out there that are great to use. Um, one of them that I can think of is PicMonkey. A lot of people use those. Um, for several years, I've used Photo Filter. That is just my preference. It's very easy, very user friendly, and um, pretty much has all of the capabilities that I need to do um, basic photo editing and, of course, add the watermark. So, um, first, let me show you how to get the program on your computer if you don't already have it. Um, you'll go to www.photo filter and that's f-i-l-t-r-e dot com and we want the English version and if you'll come on the left side there's a category called freeware um, as I mentioned on Facebook earlier there this is a free program you do not have to pay for it unless you get the studio version um, which you can see here it's photo filter studio X and it has um, you know some upgraded things that advanced users would appreciate um, but like I said I looked at um, my version and I have a version 6 point something um, but it's the it's the photo filter 6 um, so what we're gonna do is go under freeware go to photo filter version 6 and it's gonna ask you again English um, click English and you want to go to downloads <clears throat> and right here English version with setup installer click this you'll save the file um, I've already done that you'll uh, go wherever your files download whatever folder that is um, I can click this button I use Mozilla Firefox um, for my browser but I can go here um, you'll say yes you want to allow that and it will have a wizard that pops up a setup wizard and um, you just go through this setup wizard accept the terms click next tell it where you want um, the program to be installed and um, you can create a desktop link for the photo filter that's optional of course and you'll hit install um, I'm not going to do that since I've already got it. So, um, yes, I want to quit. So, let's go over here. This is the photo filter icon. And we're going to watermark this photo. Um, this happens to be our bow tie to applique um, that I tested. And once you have your, your picture, you file, open, open your folder um, wherever you save your photo files and um, open your picture up you can adjust over here um, brightness um, the gamma correct the color you know you can see you can make it a little brighter um, you know you can see that making the entire photo brighter um, this does the contrast so once you get the picture like you want it edited you will come to this T that is for text and I'm just going to show you how to make a simple text watermark for right now so we'll click on the text box and this basically will show you all of the fonts that you have installed on your computer um, pick any one of them that you like um, one that I use sometimes that I like is marker fine point um, that's a good one easy to read so let's just go with that one color I like to do it white um, for a good watermark you can do any color but um, white is generally what you see in watermarks across the web so um, I don't want this to be bold I'm just gonna say watermark and what you want to do uh, you want to come to the top where it's the tab that says effects and the opacity bring it down um, I usually do about 50 just depending on what this is um, like if it's something a little bit lighter I may do this a little bit darker if it's a bright color my white text is going to stand out pretty well so I would do it a little bit lighter but 50 is pretty good for most um, photos 
So I actually want it a little bit larger. Um, let's say maybe 300. And it's a personal preference where you want to put it. Some people want to put it exactly across their design. Some people want to put it down here in the corner. That's fine. Just know that if the main part of your photo is over here in the center, people can come and completely um, crop this out and make your watermark go away. So just make sure you know that if you choose to have your watermark on the corner. Um, a lot of people like to do it diagonally across the photo. Um, you can come and change the angle. That will make it diagonal. You can put it right down the center. Um, let me just change the text so you can see what it looks like in different things. Um, let's just do a basic uh, times. And you can see, um, I'll put it in lowercase just so you can get a different feel of it. And um, you can actually make it go the opposite direction diagonally. You would just say negative 45. And it goes the opposite direction. Um, so again, very simple. Once you get it the way you like it, if this is what you want it to look like, this is the angle you want it. Um, if you want it a little bit darker, go back up here, adjust it, maybe go to... Uh, 75 make it a little bit darker see um, so you just can adjust those things based on personal preference um, I'm gonna go back down to 50 that's where I like it and um, once you get it in place press enter and file save as and save wherever you'd like it to go and that is it. Very, very, very simple. Um, if you want to do a logo, you will need to have either a square, rectangular, circular, um, one of these basic shape logos to make it work. Um, I will show you one very quickly, just my uh, personal business, so you can see what it looks like to do um, a logo versus text. Um, give me just one second and I'll pull that file up. Um, but basically, if you don't have a simple shape, you're still going to have some sort of circle or square outline. Um, in your watermark, if that makes any sense at all. But if you have a circle, square, rectangle, any of those basic shapes, you can um, click over here with whatever your shape is um, for your selection tool, drag it around, and you don't want the white space, so just adjust it so that just your logo is in there. I'm just using the arrow keys to go back and forth. Um, I'm going to Control C for copy click on my photo where I want to watermark it, control V for paste, and then I don't always want it this, this opaque. I want it more like the watermark text that we did. So all I do is right click, manual settings, well, excuse me, let me back up. I can change the size, always do this, um, preserve aspect ratio, so you keep uh, the length and the width adjusted accordingly, but you can make it smaller. Um, see, we made it a little bit smaller. Oops. And um, okay, so to adjust um, how opaque it is or how see through it is, double click uh, left mouse button. And again, you'll see you can adjust this. Um, again, maybe about 50 is good. Press OK. And you see how it's transparent now. You know, I can put it right on top of the design and still see the design. Um, again, enter, and there you go. Just file, save as, and you're done. Um, this is very simple. Like I said, um, we hope that we never come across this in our group, but we do live in a modern world where pictures and, um, you know, important photos are posted on the internet, and it's 
up for grabs if you're if you don't have a watermark so um Yes, there are programs that people who are in the know can use, um, like Photoshop, and they can go in and um, remove whatever watermark you have placed on there. That is possible. However, if you put a text or a logo watermark on here, it is more likely that they will not take the time to take your photo and go to the trouble of removing your watermark just to steal your photo. So basically you're just deterring them, you're making it a thousand times harder for them to steal it. So hope this helps guys and um, we'll see you next time.